Ah, why would you look at that, Odessa? A combine dropship. Wow, it's been a while since I've seen one of those. Uh, buddy, you okay? Bruh, it's just a dropship. It'll probably fly around for a while, then get stuck in a corner. Huh, that's weird. Since when could the dropship land? Uh-oh. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another mini mod showcase, and today we're going to be taking a look at a mod that pretty much brings back functionality from Half-Life 2 into Gary's mod. We've actually seen quite a few mods that do this. Like, for instance, bringing back some long-lost animations from Half-Life 2 back into Gary's mod, but now we get the dropships. So first things first, here's how it works. When you spawn the dropship in, it's going to land somewhere in front of you once it does detect you're on the ground. You do have to be on the ground though for it to land. Also, yes, it'll fire back at you, which is pretty neat. And you can destroy it if you have rockets. Although be mindful that once it has dropped its load, it'll go towards the edge of the map and then seemingly just disappear. So this is just the first tier of the dropship. It just summons Metro Police. Nothing really too bad. And you can see there it goes off into the sky, ready to drop down more NPCs. So once we do take care of all these Metro Police, which again, shouldn't be too big of a deal. I say that while I'm about to die. <laughs> I can't even kill a Metro Cop. All right, there we go. God damn it, I hate man hacks. Something I thought was pretty cool is that if you have rebels on your team, they'll even shoot at the dropship while it's coming down. So next up, we have the Metro Cop Tier 2. Let's go ahead and see what this drops. Um, my dudes should be shooting at it. Uh, I hope. Hey, fellas, you know there's an enemy combine dropship over there, right? Okay, so she definitely knows what's up. They said get down. Uh, I kind of feel bad for the Metro Cops because uh, we just kind of ambushed them. But then again, not really because they killed me last time. By the way, guys, the animation of them jumping out of that looks so cool. I know it's probably just extracted from Half-Life 2, but I can't deny how awesome it looks. All right, and there we have it. That is the last of that dropship. By the way, here's something that's pretty cool. If there is a few Combine left, you can use this as a blunt weapon or kill your comrades. All right, so maybe they have to actually be rebels for that to work. But let's go on to the next dropship, and that is going to be, well, the Overwatch Shotgunners. I love that the creator put in a different variety of dropships. So if you want a nice change of pace for the enemies that you'll be fighting, it's pretty cool to just kind of choose exactly what enemies you have. All right, so this works pretty well. We have these Shotgunners. Definitely don't want them to get too close to us just because, well, shotguns hurt. And we can see that our Rebels are doing a mighty fine job. Good job, man. All right, well, we did lose one. But you know what? That's not too bad. I mean, okay, we lost two actually, technically. But hey, it could have been worse. All right, next up we have the Overwatch Tier One. This is this is pretty much going to be your quintessential drop for your standard combine affair. So here they come one by one. By the way, guys, something that's really cool, which unfortunately we can't see because well, the rebels are just going to kill everything. But if you do have them all spawn out, they'll start to create a formation and then look around the area. But now we're going to spawn in the Overwatch Tier 2. By the way, guys, with the increasing tiers, you get better soldiers. That, or more soldiers, of course. But now we can see that it is dropping. We're going to look from afar way over here, and we're going to see exactly what we see. All right, so here they come. I think they come out one every three seconds. So you can see he's kind of looking around. Doesn't know where we are yet. But you're going to start to see a formation being created. All right, so there's a lot of Overwatch soldiers with AR-2s, which is kind of scary. One shotgun unit in the back, and there you go. Once they're out, they'll actually kind of patrol around. Pretty cool that we get this without having to need some other included mod. Now, obviously, we're going to run on their parade, of course, because, I mean, well, why not? This is a good time to bring out the AR-2 or use any other weapon besides this. Like maybe the Modern Warfare weapons. Link in the description. All right, so now that we've taken care of that, let's go into the next phase. And naturally, that is Tier 3. So this time, I'm going to actually try to destroy the dropship. Um, ooh, we actually did get a few pieces there. Wait, what? Did that... All right, so you have to be careful where you shoot. Because unfortunately, sometimes you can... Well, let's just say it goes right through the dropship for some reason. Okay, so this one isn't too bad. Um, they are starting to pour out like mad. Oh, now we have an elite in this one. All right, this is where the energy balls are going to come in clutch. Oh, we got two for one. I'm liking these odds. Do not let the shotgunner get too close. One left. Can we do it? <sighs> no, of course not. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's go on to the more interesting drops, like the Strider. 
Well, okay, before we do that, let's do the final Overwatch one, and that's going to be, well, obviously, the Elite. And this is pretty much just going to spawn, well, as you'd imagine, Overwatch Elite Soldiers, which are gonna all have AR2s, and let's just say that they're not afraid to use that right click. Actually, now that I think about it, they kind of are, because I don't think I've ever been shot by a energy ball from these guys. And then last up, of course, we have the random Overwatch dropship, which just drops random soldiers down, if you really want that variety. But we're gonna go into the more interesting one. Let's go into the Strider. Honestly, this looks so cool. I can't even remember if this is how they were deployed in Half-Life 2. I can only imagine that it is, but regardless, still pretty cool. And hey, guess what? You can even get an early shot on the Strider if you're quick enough. Until you run out of ammo, that is. Nothing that a simple bind can't fix, though. Let's go ahead and take down this Strider. And hey, we got a two for one. We even took down the airship. And last up, I wanted to save this one for last, the APC. I feel like you don't get to fight this thing enough. I know like in a lot of the airboat scenes, you know, it's shooting at you and all that. But when do you ever actually get to like 1v1 this thing? I'm pretty sure you can do that a few times in the game, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like the APC was underutilized in Half-Life 2. Let me know what you guys think down below, of course. It just kind of seemed more like a set piece than it was like an actual enemy that you'd fight. But it's so satisfying shooting off pieces every single time. And one more rocket to go. Honestly, this thing kind of competes with the Strider in terms of artillery. Although it kind of sucks that it really doesn't move all that much. So there you guys have it. Create the dropship combine of your dreams. Bring back some of the essence of Half-Life 2. And let me know what you guys think down below. That poor APC got knocked down. Not like it cares though. As always guys, leave a like, subscribe. Links are in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, farewell.